Kanji, Hanzi pronounced kadi listen are the adopted logographic Chinese characters that are used in the Japanese writing system. They are used alongside the Japanese syllabic scripts hiragana and katakana. The Japanese term kanji for the Chinese characters literally means Han characters. It is written with the same characters in traditional Chinese to refer to the character writing system, Hanzi. Han Topic. History Chinese characters first came to Japan on official seals, letters, swords, coins, mirrors, and other decorative items imported from China. The earliest known instance of such an import was the King of Na Gold Seal given by Emperor Guangwu of Han to a Yamato emissary in 57 AD. Chinese coins from the 1st century AD have been found in Yayoi period archaeological sites. However, the Japanese of that era probably had no comprehension of the script, and would remain illiterate until the 5th century AD. According to the Nihon Shoki and Kojiki, a semi-legendary scholar called Wani Wang Ren was dispatched to Japan by the Kingdom of Baekje during the reign of Emperor Ojin in the early 5th century, bringing with him knowledge of Confucianism and Chinese characters. The earliest Japanese documents were probably written by bilingual Chinese or Korean officials employed at the Yamato court. For example, the diplomatic correspondence from King Bu of Hua to Emperor Shun of Lu Song in 478 has been praised for its skillful use of illusion. Later, groups of people called Fuhito were organized under the monarch to read and write classical Chinese. During the reign of Empress Suiko 593-628, the Yamato court began sending full-scale diplomatic missions to China, which resulted in a large increase in Chinese literacy at the Japanese court. In ancient times paper was so rare that people stenciled kanji onto thin, rectangular strips of wood. These wooden boards were used for communication between government offices, tags for goods transported between various countries, and the practice of writing. The oldest written kanji in Japan discovered so far was written in ink on wood as a wooden strip dated to the 7th century. It is a record of trading for cloth and salt, no longer mentioned in source the Japanese language had no written form at the time Chinese characters were introduced, and texts were written and read only in Chinese. Later, during the Heian period 794-1185, however, a system known as Kanban emerged, which involved using Chinese text with diacritical marks to allow Japanese speakers to restructure and read Chinese sentences, by changing word order and adding particles and verb endings, in accordance with the rules of Japanese grammar. Chinese characters also came to be used to write Japanese words, resulting in the modern kana syllabaries. Around 650 AD, a writing system called Manyagana used in the ancient poetry anthology Manioshu evolved that used a number of Chinese characters for their sound, rather than for their meaning. Manyagana written in cursive style evolved into hiragana, or onada, that is, laid his hand, a writing system that was accessible to women who were denied higher education. Major works of Heian era literature by women were written in hiragana. Katakana emerged via a parallel path, monastery students simplified manyagana to a single constituent element. Thus the two other writing systems, hiragana and katakana, referred to collectively as kana, are descended from kanji. In comparison to kana, fan me provisional character, kanji are also called mana, jen me true name, true character. In modern Japanese, kanji are used to write parts of the language usually content words such as nouns, adjective stems, and verb stems, while hiragana are used to write inflected verb and adjective endings and as phonetic complements to disambiguate readings okoragana, particles, and miscellaneous words which have no kanji or whose kanji is considered obscure or too difficult to read or remember. Katakana are mostly used for representing onomatopoeia, non-Japanese loanwords except those borrowed from ancient Chinese, the names of plants and animals with exceptions, and for emphasis on certain words. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Orthographic reform and lists of kanji. 
In 1946, after World War II and under the Allied occupation of Japan, the Japanese government, guided by the Supreme Commander of the Allied Powers, instituted a series of orthographic reforms, to help children learn and to simplify kanji use in literature and periodicals. The number of characters in circulation was reduced, and formal lists of characters to be learned during each grade of school were established. Some characters were given simplified glyphs, called shinjitai. Shinji. Many variant forms of characters and obscure alternatives for common characters were officially discouraged. These are simply guidelines, so many characters outside these standards are still widely known and commonly used, these are known as hyogaiji. Biao wai. Topic. Kyoiku kanji. The Kyoiku kanji, Jiao Yu Hanzi lit. Education kanji. Are 1006 characters that Japanese children learn in elementary school. Originally the list only contained 881 characters. This was expanded to 996 characters in 1977. It was not until 1982 the list was expanded to its current size. The grade level breakdown of these kanji is known as the Gakunin Betsu Kanji Haitoyo, Shui Nyen Bie Han Zi Pei Dang Biao or the Gakushu Kanji. Ya. Shui Nyen Bie Han Zi Pei Dang Biao. Topic. Joyo Kanji The Joyo Kanji, Chang Yang Hanzi regular use kanji are 2136 characters consisting of all the Kyoiku kanji plus 1130 additional kanji taught in junior high and high school. In publishing, characters outside this category are often given furigana. The Joyo kanji were introduced in 1981, replacing an older list of 1,850 characters known as the Toyo kanji, Dang Yang Hanzi general use kanji, introduced in 1946. Originally numbering 1,945 characters, the Joyo kanji list was extended to 2,136 in 2010. Some of the new characters were previously Jinmyo kanji, some are used to write prefecture names, Ban Shang Nai Gang Lu Li Fu Chi Si Li and Yuan. <laughs> Jinmyo kanji As of September 25, 2017, the Jinmyo kanji, Ren Ming Yang Hanzi kanji for use in personal names consists of 863 characters. Kanji on this list are mostly used in people's names and some are traditional variants of Joyo kanji. There were only 92 kanji in the original list published in 1952, but new additions have been made frequently. Sometimes the term Jinmyo kanji refers to all 2,999 kanji from both the Joyo and Jinmyo lists combined. Hyogai kanji Hyogai kanji Biao Wai Han the unlisted characters are any kanji not contained in the Joyo kanji and Jinmyo kanji lists. These are generally written using traditional characters, but extended Shinjitai forms exist. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Japanese industrial standards for kanji. The Japanese industrial standards for kanji and kana define character code points for each kanji and kana, as well as other forms of writing such as the Latin alphabet, Cyrillic script, Greek alphabet, Hindu Arabic numerals, etc. for use in information processing. They have had numerous revisions. The current standards are JIS X0208, the most recent version of the main standard. It has 6,355 kanji. JIS X0212, a supplementary standard containing a further 5,801 kanji. This standard is rarely used, mainly because the common shift JIS encoding system could not use it. This standard is effectively obsolete. 
JIS X0213, a further revision which extended the JIS X0208 set with 3,695 additional kanji, of which 2,743 all but 952 were in JIS X0212. The standard is in part designed to be compatible with shift JIS encoding. JIS X0221, 1995, the Japanese version of the ISO 10646, Unicode standard. Topic Gaiji Gaiji, YZ literally external characters are kanji that are not represented in existing Japanese encoding systems. These include variant forms of common kanji that need to be represented alongside the more conventional glyph in reference works, and can include non-kanji symbols as well. Gaiji can be either user-defined characters or system-specific characters. Both are a problem for information interchange, as the code point used to represent an external character will not be consistent from one computer or operating system to another. Gaiji were nominally prohibited in JIS X0208-1997, and JIS X0213-2000 used the range of code points previously allocated to Gaiji, making them completely unusable. Nevertheless, they persist today with NTT Docomo's iMode service, where they are used for emoji pictorial characters. Unicode allows for optional encoding of Gaiji in private use areas, while Adobe's Sing Smart Independent Glyphlets technology allows the creation of customized Gaiji. The text encoding initiative uses a element to encode any non-standard character or glyph, including Gaiji. The G stands for Gaiji. Topic: Total number of kanji. There is no definitive count of kanji characters, just as there is none of Chinese characters generally. The Dai Kan Wa Jiten, which is considered to be comprehensive in Japan, contains about 50,000 characters. The Zonghua Zaihai, published in 1994 in China, contains about 85,000 characters, but the majority of them are not in common use in any country, and many are obscure variants or archaic forms. Approximately 2,000 to 3,000 characters are commonly used in Japan, a few thousand more find occasional use, and a total of 13,108 characters can be encoded in various Japanese industrial standards for kanji. Topic. Readings Because of the way they have been adopted into Japanese, a single kanji may be used to write one or more different words or, in some cases, morphemes and thus the same character may be pronounced in different ways. From the reader's point of view, kanji are said to have one or more different readings. Although more than one reading may become activated in the brain, deciding which reading is appropriate depends on recognizing which word it represents, which can usually be determined from context, intended meaning, whether the character occurs as part of a compound word or an independent word, and sometimes location within the sentence. For example, Jin Ri is usually read Kyo, meaning, today, but in formal writing is instead read Kanichi, meaning, nowadays. This is understood from context. Nevertheless, some cases are ambiguous and require a furigana gloss, which are also used simply for difficult readings or to specify a non-standard reading. Kanji readings are categorized as either aniomi, literally, sound reading, from Chinese, or kuniomi, literally, meaning reading. Native Japanese, and most characters have at least two readings, at least one of each. However, some characters have only a single reading, such as kiku, chrysanthemum, an on reading, or iwashi, sardine, a kun reading. Kun only are common for Japanese coined kanji. Kouji. Some common kanji have ten or more possible readings. The most complex common example is sheng, which is read as sei, shou, nama, ki, o u, i kiru, i k a s u, i keru, u mu, u mareru, ha e r u, and ha yasu, totaling eight basic readings. First two are on, rest are kun, or twelve if related verbs are counted as distinct. See okoragana, sheng for details. 
Most often, a character will be used for both sound and meaning, and it is simply a matter of choosing the correct reading based on which word it represents. In other cases, a character is used only for sound In this case, pronunciation is still based on a standard reading, or used only for meaning broadly a form of ateji, narrowly jukujikan. Therefore, only the full compound, not the individual character, has a reading. There are also special cases where the reading is completely different, often based on a historical or traditional reading. The analogous phenomenon occurs to a much lesser degree in Chinese varieties, where there are literary and colloquial readings of Chinese characters, borrowed readings and native readings. In Chinese these borrowed readings and native readings are etymologically related, since they are between Chinese varieties which are related, not from Chinese to Japanese which are not related. They thus form doublets and are generally similar, analogous to different aniomi, reflecting different stages of Chinese borrowings into Japanese. Aniomi Sino-Japanese reading The aniomi, yin du mi o jomi, lit. Sound based reading. The Sino-Japanese reading, is the modern descendant of the Japanese approximation of the base Chinese pronunciation of the character at the time it was introduced. It was often previously referred to as translation reading, as it was recreated readings of the Chinese pronunciation but was not the Chinese pronunciation or reading itself, similar to the English pronunciation of Latin loanwords. Old Japanese scripts often stated that aniomi readings were also created by the Japanese during their arrival and re-borrowed by the Chinese as their own. There also exist kanji created by the Japanese and given an aniomi reading despite not being a Chinese-derived or a Chinese-originating character. Some kanji were introduced from different parts of China at different times, and so have multiple aniomi, and often multiple meanings. Kanji invented in Japan would not normally be expected to have aniomi, but there are exceptions, such as the character dong, to work, which has the kuniomi, hotaraku, and the aniomi, diu, and shion, gland, which has only the aniomi, sen. In both cases these come from the aniomi of the phonetic component, respectively dong, diu, and quan, sen. Generally, aniomi are classified into four types according to their region and time of origin. Go on. Wu, wu sound. Readings are from the pronunciation during the northern and southern dynasties of China during the 5th and 6th centuries. Go refers to the Wu region in the vicinity of modern Shanghai, which still maintains linguistic similarities with modern Sino-Japanese vocabulary. See also, Wu Chinese and Shanghainese language. Khan on Han, Han sound. Readings are from the pronunciation during the Tang dynasty of China in the 7th to 9th centuries, primarily from the standard speech of the capital, Chang'an modern Xi'an. Here, Khan refers to Han Chinese people or China proper. Tu on Tang, Tang sound. Readings are from the pronunciations of later dynasties of China, such as the Song and Ming. They cover all readings adopted from the Heian era to the Edo period. This is also known as Toso on Tang Song Yin Tang and Song Sound. Kanio on Guan Yang Yin customary sound readings, which are mistaken or changed readings of the kanji that have become accepted into the Japanese language. In some cases, they are the actual readings that accompanied the character's introduction to Japan, but do not match how the character should is prescribed to be read according to the rules of character construction and pronunciation. The most common form of readings is the kan on one, and use of a non-kan on reading in a word where the kan on reading is well known as a common cause of reading mistakes or difficulty, such as in ge doku, jia do detoxification, anti-poison, go on, where jia is usually instead read as kai. The go on readings are especially common in Buddhist terminology such as Gokuraku, Jila Paradise, as well as in some of the earliest loans, such as the Sino Japanese numbers. 
The to on readings occur in some later words, such as isu, yizi chair, futon, bu tuan mattress, and andan, xingdeng a kind of paper lantern. The go on, kan on, and to on readings are generally cognate with rare exceptions of homographs, see below, having a common origin in Old Chinese, and hence form linguistic doublets or triplets, but they can differ significantly from each other and from modern Chinese pronunciation. In Chinese, most characters are associated with a single Chinese sound, though there are distinct literary and colloquial readings. However, some homographs duo yin zi pin yin, duo yin zi, such as xing, hang or xing, Japanese, and go, gyo, have more than one reading in Chinese representing different meanings, which is reflected in the carryover to Japanese as well. Additionally, many Chinese syllables, especially those with an entering tone, did not fit the largely consonant vowel CV phonotactics of classical Japanese. Thus most aniomi are composed of two more beats, the second of which is either a lengthening of the vowel in the first mora to a, o, or u, the vowel i, or one of the syllables ku, ki, su, kai, fu historically, later merged into o, or moric n, chosen for their approximation to the final consonants of Middle Chinese. It may be that palatalized consonants before vowels other than I developed in Japanese as a result of Chinese borrowings, as they are virtually unknown in words of native Japanese origin, but are common in Chinese. Aniomi primarily occur in multi-kanji compound words, shuyu jukugo words, many of which are the result of the adoption, along with the kanji themselves, of Chinese words for concepts that either did not exist in Japanese or could not be articulated as elegantly using native words. This borrowing process is often compared to the English borrowings from Latin, Greek, and Norman French, since Chinese borrowed terms are often more specialized, or considered to sound more erudite or formal, than their native counterparts occupying a higher linguistic register. The major exception to this rule is family names, in which the native kuniomi are usually used though aniomi are found in many personal names, especially men's names. Topic. Kuniomi native reading. The kuniomi, shuin du mi ke jomi, lit. Meaning reading. The native reading, is a reading based on the pronunciation of a native Japanese word, or Yamato Katoba, that closely approximated the meaning of the Chinese character when it was introduced. As with aniomi, there can be multiple kuniomi for the same kanji, and some kanji have no kuniomi at all. For instance, the character for East, Dong has the aniomi too, from Middle Chinese tongue. However, Japanese already had two words for East, Higashi and Azuma. Thus the kanji Dong had the latter readings added as kuniomi. In contrast, the kanji kun, denoting a Chinese unit of measurement about 30 mm or 1.2 inch, has no native Japanese equivalent, it only has an aniomi, sun, with no native kuniomi. Most kouji, Japanese created Chinese characters, only have kuniomi, although some have backformed a pseudo aniomi by analogy with similar characters, such as dong du, from dong du, and there are even some, such as xiansen, gland, that have only an aniomi. Kuniomi are characterized by the strict c v syllable structure of Yamato Katoba. Most noun or adjective kuniomi are two to three syllables long, while verb kuniomi are usually between one and three syllables in length, not counting trailing hiragana called okoragana. Okoragana are not considered to be part of the internal reading of the character, although they are part of the reading of the word. A beginner in the language will rarely come across characters with long readings, but readings of three or even four syllables are not uncommon. This contrasts with aniomi, which are monosyllabic, and is unusual in the Chinese family of scripts, which generally use one character per syllable. Not only in Chinese, but also in Korean, Vietnamese, and Zhuang, polysyllabic Chinese characters are rare and considered non-standard. Sheung Ru Yukatamawaru, Ji Kokorozashi, and Jiao Makotonori have five syllables represented by a single kanji, the longest readings in the Joyo character set. These unusually long readings are due to a single character representing a compound word. 
Sheung ru is a single character for a compound verb, one component of which has a long reading. It has an alternative spelling as Shou Kc Ru Yu K to Mawa Ru, hence 1 plus 1 plus 3 equals 5. Compare common Shou K Fu Keru Yu K Su Keru. G is a nominalization of the verb Ji Su which has a long reading Kokoroza Su. This is due to its being derived from a noun verb compound, Shin Ji Su Kokora Za Su. The nominalization removes the okoragana, hence increasing the reading by one mora, yielding 4 plus 1 equals 5. Compare common wahanashi 2 plus 1 equals 3, from wasu hana su. Jiao is a triple compound. It has an alternative spelling yu yan zan mi koto nori, hence 1 plus 2 plus 2 equals 5. Longer readings exist for non joyo characters and non kanji symbols, where a long garego word may be the reading, this is classed as kuniomi see single character garego, below. The character Li has the seven kana reading senchaim toru senchaim toru, centimeter, though it is generally written as cm, with two half width characters, so occupying one space. Another common example is percent, the percent sign, which has the five kana reading pa cento pacento. Further, some joyo characters have long non joyo readings, students learn the character, but not the reading, such as omanpakaru for lu ru. In a number of cases, multiple kanji were assigned to cover a single Japanese word. Typically when this occurs, the different kanji refer to specific shades of meaning. For instance, the word naosu, naosu, when written jisu, means to heal an illness or sickness. When written jisu it means to fix or correct something. Sometimes the distinction is very clear, although not always. Differences of opinion among reference works is not uncommon, one dictionary may say the kanji are equivalent, while another dictionary may draw distinctions of use. As a result, native speakers of the language may have trouble knowing which kanji to use and resort to personal preference or by writing the word in hiragana. This latter strategy is frequently employed with more complex cases such as Moto Moto, which has at least five different kanji, Yuan Ji Ben Sha and Su, the first three of which have only very subtle differences. Another notable example is Sakazuki, Sake Cup, which may be spelt as at least five different kanji, Bei Bei Ji Ji and Y, of these, the first two are common. Formally Bei is a small cup and Bei a large cup. Local dialectical readings of kanji are also classified under kuniomi, most notably readings for words in Ryukyuan languages. Further, in rare cases garego borrowed words have a single character associated with them, in which case this reading is formally classified as a kuniomi, because the character is being used for meaning, not sound. This is discussed under single character garego, below. Topic. Mixed readings There are many kanji compounds that use a mixture of aniomi and kuniomi, known as jubako yomi, zhongshang dumi multi-layered food box or yuto, tang tong hot liquid pail words depending on the order, which are themselves examples of this kind of compound they are autological words, the first character of jubako is read using aniomi, the second kuniomi on kun. It is the other way around with yuto kun on. Formally, these are referred to as jubako yomi, zhongshang du mi jubako reading and yuto yomi, tang tong du mi yuto reading. Note that in both these words, the aniomi has a long vowel. Long vowels in Japanese generally are derived from sound changes common to loans from Chinese, hence distinctive of aniomi. These are the Japanese form of hybrid words. Other examples include basho, Chong's place, Kun on Kinyiro, Jin Golden, on Kun and Aikido, Hei Chi Dao the martial art Aikido, Kun on on. Ateji often use mixed readings. For instance, the city of Sapporo, whose name derives from the Ainu language and has no meaning in Japanese, is written with the on Kun compound Zahuang, which includes Sokuan as if it were a purely on compound.
Topic: <laughs> Special readings. Gikan Yi Shuan and Jukujikan Shu Zi Shuan are readings of kanji combinations that have no direct correspondence to the character's individual aniomi or kuniomi. From the point of view of the character, rather than the word, this is known as a nankan, nanshuan difficult reading, and these are listed in kanji dictionaries under the entry for the character. Gikan are when non-standard kanji are used, generally for effect, such as using han with reading fuyu, winter, rather than the standard character dong. Jukujikan are when the standard kanji for a word are related to the meaning, but not the sound. The word is pronounced as a whole, not corresponding to sounds of individual kanji. For example, jin this morning is jukujikan, and read neither as asterisk imaasa, the kuniomi of the characters, nor kancho, the aniomi of the characters, nor any combination thereof. Instead it is read as kesa, a native bisyllabic Japanese word that may be seen as a single morpheme, or as a fusion of kyo previously kefu, today and asa morning likewise ming tomorrow is jukujikan and read neither as akari no hi the kuniomi of the characters nor menichi the aniomi of the characters nor any combination thereof instead it is read as ashida a native multisyllabic japanese word that may be seen as a single morpheme Jukujikan are primarily used for some native Japanese words, such as Yamato or wo, the name of a Japanese province as well as ancient name for Japan, and for some old borrowings, such as Shishamo, Lu Yi Yu Willow Leaf Fish from Ainu, Tobacco, Yan Sao Smoke Grass from Portuguese, or Biru, My Ju Wheat Alcohol from Dutch, especially if the word was borrowed before the Meiji period. Words whose kanji are jukujikan are often usually written as hiragana if native, or katakana if borrowed. Some old borrowed words are also written as hiragana, especially Portuguese loanwords such as karuta, karuta from Portuguese, carta, eng, card, tempura, tempura from Portuguese, tempura, and pan, pan from Spanish, pan, eng, bread, as well as tobacco. Sometimes, jukujikan can even have more kanji than there are syllables, examples being kara, jo mu niao woodpecker, gumi, hutuizi silver berry, oleaster, and hozumi, ba yu shuo ri a surname, jukujikan are quite varied. Often the kanji compound for jukujikan is idiosyncratic and created for the word, and where the corresponding Chinese word does not exist, in other cases a kanji compound for an existing Chinese word is reused, where the Chinese word and aniomi may or may not be used in Japanese, for example, shuanlu reindeer is jukujikan for tanakai, from Ainu, but the aniomi reading of junroku is also used. In some cases Japanese coinages have subsequently been borrowed back into Chinese, such as Anko, and Kong Monkfish. The underlying word for Jukujikan is a native Japanese word or foreign borrowing, which either does not have an existing kanji spelling either kuniomi or a teji or for which a new kanji spelling is produced. Most often the word is a noun, which may be a simple noun not a compound or derived from a verb, or may be a verb form or a fusional pronunciation, for example sumo, shangpu sumo is originally from the verb suma yu, jung yu divai, while kyo, jin ri today is fusional. In rare cases jukujikan is also applied to inflectional words, verbs and adjectives, in which case there is frequently a corresponding Chinese word. Examples of jukujikan for inflectional words follow. The most common example of a jukujikan adjective is kawaii, kii cute, originally kawaii i, the word ki is used in Chinese, but the corresponding aniomi is not used in Japanese. By contrast, appropriate can be either fusawa shi, shang ying shi and jukujikan or su, shang ying and aniomi are both used, the shi ending is because these were formerly a different class of adjectives. A common example of a verb with jukujikan is haya ru, lu xing ru to spread, to be in vogue, corresponding to aniomi ryuko, a sample jukujikan deverbal noun derived from a verb form is yusori, changqing extortion, from yusu ru, changqing ru to extort, spelling from kyose, changqing extortion. See yishuan and shu zishuan for many more examples. 
Note that there are also compound verbs and, less commonly, compound adjectives, and while these may have multiple kanji without intervening characters, they are read using usual kunyomi. Examples include omo shiro i, mian bai i interesting, face whitening and zuru gashiko i, jiao xian i sly. Typographically, the furigana for jukujikan are often written so they are centered across the entire word, or for inflectional words over the entire root corresponding to the reading being related to the entire word rather than each part of the word being centered over its corresponding character, as is often done for the usual phono semantic readings. Broadly speaking, jukujikan can be considered a form of ateji, though in narrow usage, ateji refers specifically to using characters for sound and not meaning sound spelling, rather than meaning and not sound meaning spelling, as in jukujikan. Many jukujikan established meaning spellings began life as gikan improvised meaning spellings. Occasionally a single word will have many such kanji spellings, an extreme example is hatotojisu lesser kuku, which may be spelt in a great many ways, including du wan, shi niao zi gui bu ru gui huo gong niao shu hun da shou niao du yu tian wan da ji niao and guo gong. Many of these variant spellings are particular to haiku poems. Topic: <laughs> Single character garego. In some rare cases, an individual kanji has a reading that is borrowed from a modern foreign language, garego, though most often these words are written in katakana. Notable examples include Peji, Yi Pei G Page, Botan, Ko Niu Botan Button, Zero, Ling Zero Zero, and Metoru, Mimi Toru Meter. See list of single character Garego for more. These are classed as kunyomi of a single character, because the character is being used for meaning only without the Chinese pronunciation, rather than as a teji, which is the classification used when a Garego term is written as a compound, two or more characters. However, unlike the vast majority of other kunyomi, these readings are not native Japanese, but rather borrowed, so the kunyomi label can be misleading. The readings are also written in katakana, unlike the usual hiragana for native kunyomi. Note that most of these characters are for units, particularly SI units, in many cases using new characters kouji, coined during the Meiji period, such as karamatoru, chian kirom toru kilometer. Meter. Plus Qian. Thousand. Topic. Other readings Some kanji also have lesser known readings called nanori, mingsheng ri, which are mostly used for names, often given names, and in general, are closely related to the kunyomi. Place names sometimes also use nanori or, occasionally, unique readings not found elsewhere. For example, there is the surname Xiao Niao Yu, literally, little birds at play, that implies there are no predators, such as hawks, present. Pronounced, Katori Asobu. The name then can also mean Yangainai, Taka Ga Inai, literally, no hawks around, and it can be shortened to be pronounced as Takanashi. Topic. When to use which reading? Although there are general rules for when to use aniomi and when to use kuniomi, the language is littered with exceptions, and it is not always possible for even a native speaker to know how to read a character without prior knowledge this is especially true for names, both of people and places. Further, a given character may have multiple kuniomi or aniomi. When reading Japanese, one primarily recognizes words multiple characters and okoragana and their readings, rather than individual characters, and only guess readings of characters when trying to sound out an unrecognized word. Homographs exist, however, which can sometimes be deduced from context, and sometimes cannot, requiring a glossary. For example, jin-ri may be read either as kyo, today, informal. Special fused reading for native word or as kanichi, these days formal, aniomi, in formal writing this will generally be read as kanichi. In some cases multiple readings are common, as in tunji, 
pork soup, which is commonly pronounced both as tun jiru mixed on kun and buda jiru kun kun, with tun somewhat more common nationally. Inconsistencies abound. For example, niu ru gyu niku, beef, and yang ru yo niku, mutton, have on on readings, but tun ru buda niku, pork, and ji ru tori niku, poultry, have kun on readings. The main guideline is that a single kanji followed by okoragana hiragana characters that are part of the word, as used in native verbs and adjectives, always indicates kaniomi, while kanji compounds kango usually use aniomi, which is usually kan on. However, other aniomi are also common, and kaniomi are also commonly used in kango. For a kanji in isolation without okoragana, it is typically read using their kuniomi, though there are numerous exceptions. For example, iron is usually read with the aniomi tetsu rather than the kuniomi kuragane. Chinese aniomi which are not the common kan on reading are a frequent cause of difficulty or mistakes when encountering unfamiliar words or for inexperienced readers, though skilled natives will recognize the word. A good example is ge doku, jia do detoxification, anti-poison, go on, where jia is usually instead read as kai. Okoragana are used with kuniomi to mark the inflected ending of a native verb or adjective, or by convention. Note that Japanese verbs and adjectives are closed class, and do not generally admit new words borrowed Chinese vocabulary, which are nouns, can form verbs by adding suru, suru to do, at the end, and adjectives via no no or na na, but cannot become native Japanese vocabulary, which inflect. For example, kai i akai, red, shin shi atara shi, new, jian ru mi ru, to see. Okoragana can be used to indicate which kuniomi to use, as in shi beru ta beru versus shi yu ku yu casual, both meaning to eat. But this is not always sufficient, as in kai ku, which may be read as a ku or hira ku, both meaning to open. Sheng is a particularly complicated example, with multiple kun and aniomi. See okoragana, sheng for details. Okoragana is also used for some nouns and adverbs, as in chinke nasek, sympathy, by zu kanarazu, invariably, but not for jinkane, money, for instance. Okoragana is an important aspect of kanji usage in Japanese. See that article for more information on kuniomi orthography. Kanji occurring in compounds multi-kanji words, shuyu jukugo are generally read using aniomi, especially for four-character compounds yojijukugo. Though again, exceptions abound, for example, ching bao joho, information, shui shao gakko, school, and shin gan shian shinkansen, bullet train, all follow this pattern. This isolated kanji versus compound distinction gives words for similar concepts completely different pronunciations. Bei, north, and dong, east, use the kuniomi kita and higashi, being standalone characters, but bei dong, northeast, as a compound, uses the aniomi hokuto. This is further complicated by the fact that many kanji have more than one aniomi. Sheng is read as sei in Xi'an Sheng Sensei teacher, but as show in Yi Sheng Isho, one's whole life, meaning can also be an important indicator of reading, Yi is read I when it means, simple, but as Eki when it means, divination, both being aniomi for this character. These rules of thumb have many exceptions. Kuniomi compound words are not as numerous as those with aniomi, but neither are they rare. Examples include Shoji Tagami. Letter, Ri San Hagasha, Parasol, and the famous Shen Feng Kamikaze, Divine Wind. Such compounds may also have okoragana, such as Kong Yang Gi, also written Tang Yang Gi, Karage, Chinese style fried chicken, and J Ri Ji Origami, although many of these can also be written with the okoragana omitted, for example, Kong Yang or J G. Similarly, some aniomi characters can also be used as words in isolation, i.i. I. love, chan zen, dian ten, mark, dot, 
Most of these cases involve kanji that have no kuniomi, so there can be no confusion, although exceptions do occur. Alone jin may be read as kin, gold, or as cane, money, metal. Only context can determine the writer's intended reading and meaning. Multiple readings have given rise to a number of homographs, in some cases having different meanings depending on how they are read. One example is Shang Shou, which can be read in three different ways, Jozu skilled, Yuwate upper part, or Kamite stage left, house right. In addition, Shang Shou I has the reading UMAI skilled. More subtly, Ming Ri has three different readings, all meaning tomorrow, Ashida casual, ASU polite, and Mayanichi formal. Furigana reading glosses is often used to clarify any potential ambiguities. Conversely, in some cases homophonous terms may be distinguished in writing by different characters, but not so distinguished in speech, and hence potentially confusing. In some cases when it is important to distinguish these in speech, the reading of a relevant character may be changed. For example, Sili privately established, especially school, and Shili city established are both normally pronounced Shiritsu. In speech, these may be distinguished by the alternative pronunciations Watakushi Ritsu and Ichi Ritsu. More informally, in legal jargon, Qian Wen preamble and Quan Wen full text are both pronounced Zen Bun, so Qian Wen may be pronounced Mei Bun for clarity, as in. Have you memorized the preamble not whole text of the Constitution? As in these examples, this is primarily using a kuniomi for one character in a normally aniomi term. As stated above, Jubako and Yuto readings are also not uncommon. Indeed, all four combinations of reading are possible, on on, kun kun, kun on and on kun. Several famous place names, including those of Japan itself Ri-ben Nihon or sometimes Nippon, those of some cities such as Tokyo Dongjing Tokyo and Kyoto Jingdo Kyoto, and those of the main islands Honshu Benjo Honshu, Kyushu Jujo Kyushu, Shikoku Siguo Shikoku, and Hokkaido Beihaidao Hokkaido are read with Aniomi, however, the majority of Japanese place names are read with Kuniomi, Daban Osaka, Chingsen Aomori, Shang Jen Hakone. Names often use characters and readings that are not in common use outside of names. When characters are used as abbreviations of place names, their reading may not match that in the original. The Osaka Da Ban and Kobe Shenhu baseball team, the Hanshin Ban Shen Tigers, take their name from the Aniomi of the second kanji of Osaka and the first of Kobe. The name of the Kaisei Jing Sheung railway line. Linking Tokyo Dong Jing and Narita, Sheung Tien is formed similarly, although the reading of Jing from Dong Jing is K, despite Kyo already being an aniomi in the word Tokyo. Japanese family names are also usually read with kuniomi, Shan Tien Yamada, Tien Zhang Tanaka, Ling Mu Suzuki. Japanese given names often have very irregular readings. Although they are not typically considered jubako or yuto, they often contain mixtures of kuniomi, aniomi and nanori, such as dazu daisuke on kun, shame natsumi kun on. Being chosen at the discretion of the parents, the readings of given names do not follow any set rules, and it is impossible to know with certainty how to read a person's name without independent verification. Parents can be quite creative, and rumors abound of children called de chuasu. Earth, and Tian Shi Enheru, Angel, neither are common names, and have normal readings Chikyu and Tenshi respectively. Some common Japanese names can be written in multiple ways, e.g. Akira can be written as Liang, Zhang Ming Xian Zhang Ting Guang Jing Huang Bin Chong Le Chu Liang Ming Le Ri 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 Ya Ji Liang and Shi Liang and many other characters and kanji combinations not listed, Satoshi can be written as Kong, J J Shi Wu Zuo Deng Shi Shao Shuan J Shi J C Min Yu Ji Zuo Deng Si Zong Li Shi San Shi Gc la gc etc and haruka can be written as yao chun shang ching shang yao shang chun guo ching sha chun he chun jia and several other possibilities common patterns do exist however allowing experienced readers to make a good guess for most names 
To alleviate any confusion on how to pronounce the names of other Japanese people, most official Japanese documents require Japanese to write their names in both kana and kanji, Chinese place names and Chinese personal names appearing in Japanese texts, if spelled in kanji, are almost invariably read with aniomi. Especially for older and well-known names, the resulting Japanese pronunciation may differ widely from that used by modern Chinese speakers. For example, Mao Zedong's name is pronounced as Mo Takuto Mao Zedong in Japanese, and the name of the legendary monkey king, Sun Wukong, is pronounced Sun Goku Sun Wukong in Japanese. Today, Chinese names that are not well known in Japan are often spelled in katakana instead, in a form much more closely approximating the native Chinese pronunciation. Alternatively, they may be written in kanji with katakana furigana. Many such cities have names that come from non-Chinese languages like Mongolian or Manchu. Examples of such not well-known Chinese names include Internationally renowned Chinese named cities tend to imitate the older English pronunciations of their names, regardless of the kanji's aniomi or the Mandarin or Cantonese pronunciation, and can be written in either katakana or kanji. Examples include Notes Guangzhou, the city, is pronounced Koshu, while Guangdong, its province, is pronounced Canton, not Kodo in this case, opting for a tu on reading rather than the usual kan on reading. Gaoshang was originally pronounced Takao or similar in Hokkien and Japanese. It received this written name kanji, Chinese from Japanese, and later its spoken Mandarin name from the corresponding characters. The English name, Gaoshang derived from its Mandarin pronunciation. Today it is pronounced either Kaoshan or Takao in Japanese. Taipei is generally pronounced Taihoku in Japanese, in some cases the same kanji can appear in a given word with different readings. Normally this occurs when a character is duplicated and the reading of the second character has voicing rendaku, as in ren ren hito bito, people. More often written with the iteration mark as ren, but in rare cases the readings can be unrelated, as in tobi hanaru, tiao bai tiao nu, hop around. More often written fei bai tiao naru. Topic: Pronunciation assistance. Because of the ambiguities involved, kanji sometimes have their pronunciation for the given context spelled out in Ruby characters known as furigana, small kana written above or to the right of the character, or kamimoji, small kana written inline after the character. This is especially true in texts for children or foreign learners. It is also used in newspapers and manga comics for rare or unusual readings, or for situations like the first time a character's name is given, and for characters not included in the officially recognized set of essential kanji. Works of fiction sometimes use furigana to create new words by giving normal kanji non-standard readings, or to attach a foreign word rendered in katakana as the reading for a kanji or kanji compound of the same or similar meaning. Topic. Spelling words Conversely, specifying a given kanji, or spelling out a kanji word, whether the pronunciation is known or not, can be complicated, due to the fact that there is not a commonly used standard way to refer to individual kanji one does not refer to kanji number 237, and that a given reading does not map to a single kanji. Indeed there are many homophonous words, not simply individual characters, particularly for kango with aniomi. Easiest is to write the word out, either on paper or tracing it in the air, or look it up given the pronunciation in a dictionary, particularly an electronic dictionary, when this is not possible, such as when speaking over the phone or writing implements are not available and tracing in air is too complicated, various techniques can be used. These include giving kuniomi for characters. These are often unique. Using a well-known word with the same character and preferably the same pronunciation and meaning, and describing the character via its components. 
For example, one may explain how to spell the word kashinryo, shang shin liao spice via the words kao ri, shang ri fragrance, kara i, shin i spicy, and in ryo, yin liao beverage. The first two use the kuniomi, the third is a well-known compound. Saying kaori, karai, ryo is in inryo. Topic. Dictionaries In dictionaries, both words and individual characters have readings glossed, via various conventions. Native words and Sino-Japanese vocabulary are glossed in hiragana for both kun and on readings, while borrowings garego, including modern borrowings from Chinese, are glossed in katakana. This is the standard writing convention also used in furigana. By contrast, readings for individual characters are conventionally written in katakana for on readings, and hiragana for kun readings. Kun readings may further have a separator to indicate which characters are okoragana, and which are considered readings of the character itself. For example, in the entry for she, the reading corresponding to the basic verb eat, she beru taburu may be written as ta, beru ta, beru, to indicate that ta is the reading of the character itself. Further, kanji dictionaries often list compounds including irregular readings of a kanji. Topic. Local developments and divergences from Chinese Since kanji are essentially Chinese hanzi used to write Japanese, the majority of characters used in modern Japanese still retain their Chinese meaning, physical resemblance with some of their modern traditional Chinese characters' counterparts, and a degree of similarity with classical Chinese pronunciation imported to Japan from 5th to 9th century. Nevertheless, after centuries of development, there is a notable number of kanji used in modern Japanese which have different meaning from hanzi used in modern Chinese. Such differences are the result of the use of characters created in Japan, characters that have been given different meanings in Japanese, and Post-World War II simplifications of the character, likewise, the process of character simplification in mainland China since the 1950s has resulted in the fact that Japanese speakers who have not studied Chinese may not recognize some simplified characters. Kouji <laughs> In Japanese, Kouji Guo national characters refers to Chinese characters made outside of China. Specifically, kanji made in Japan are referred to as weisei kanji. Hei ji han. They are primarily formed in the usual way of Chinese characters, namely by combining existing components, though using a combination that is not used in China. The corresponding phenomenon in Korea is called gukya, guo a cognate name. There are however far fewer Korean coined characters than Japanese coined ones. Other languages using the Chinese family of scripts sometimes have far more extensive systems of native characters, most significantly Vietnamese Chu Nam, which comprises over 20,000 characters used throughout traditional Vietnamese writing, and Zhuang Sandip, which comprises over 10,000 characters, which are still in use. Since Kouji are generally devised for existing native words, these usually only have native Kun readings. However, they occasionally have a Chinese on reading, derived from a phonetic, as in Dong, Du, and in rare cases only have an on reading, as in Xi'an, Sen, from Quan, which was derived for use in technical compounds Xi'an means gland, hence used in medical terminology. The majority of Kouji are ideogrammatic compounds, Wei Yi Zi meaning that they are composed of two or more characters, with the meaning associated with the combination. For example, dong is composed of ren person radical plus dong action, hence, action of a person, work. This is in contrast to kanji generally, which are overwhelmingly phono-semantic compounds. This difference is because kouji were coined to express Japanese words, so borrowing existing Chinese readings could not express these. Combining existing characters to logically express the meaning was the simplest way to achieve this. 
Other illustrative examples below include Shen Sakari tree, formed as Mu tree, and Shen God, literally divine tree, and Shi Suji crossroads street, formed as Chuo road, and Shi cross, hence cross road. In terms of meanings, these are especially for natural phenomena especially flora and fauna species that were not present in ancient China, including a very large number of fish, such as ruo sardine, shui codfish, shu sea perch, and shi silago, and trees, such as jian evergreen oak, chong Japanese cedar, wa birch, maple, and ju spindle tree. In other cases they refer to specifically Japanese abstract concepts, everyday words like shi, or later technical coinages such as shion. There are hundreds of kouji in existence. Many are rarely used, but a number have become commonly used components of the written Japanese language. These include the following. Joyo kanji has about nine kouji, there is some dispute over classification, but generally includes these. Dong do do, hatara ku hatara ku, work. The most commonly used kouji, used in the fundamental verb hatara ku, dong work, included in elementary texts and on the proficiency test N5. Yu ko mu ko, mu, used in the fundamental verb komu, yu mu, to be crowded. Shang nio yu nio, yu, used in common verb nio yu, shang yu, to smell, to be fragrant. Tian Hataki Hataki, field of crops. Xi'an Sen Sen, gland. Chia Tog Toge, mountain pass. Zui Waku Waku, frame. Ping Hei Hei, wall. Za Shibo Ru Shibo, Ru, to squeeze. Disputed, see below, a Jinmyo Kanji. Shen Sakari Sakari, tree, genus Clara. Shi Suji Suji, crossroads, street. Wen Monmi Monmi, unit of weight, Hyogai Ji. Mei Shitsuke Shitsuke, training, rearing, an animal, a child. Some of these characters, for example, Jia gland, have been introduced to China. In some cases the Chinese reading is the inferred Chinese reading, interpreting the character as a phono-semantic compound as in how an readings are sometimes assigned to these characters in Chinese, while in other cases, such as Dong, the Japanese on reading is borrowed in general this differs from the modern Chinese pronunciation of this phonetic. Similar coinages occurred to a more limited extent in Korea and Vietnam. Historically, some kouji date back to very early Japanese writing, being found in the Manioshu, for example, Ruo Iwashi, sardine, dates to the Nara period, 8th century, while they have continued to be created as late as the late 19th century, when a number of characters were coined in the Meiji era for new scientific concepts. For example, some characters were produced as regular compounds for some, but not all, SI units, such as Qian meter plus qian thousand kilo for kilometer qian liter plus qian thousand kilo for kiloliter and qian gram plus thousand kilo for kilogram see chinese characters for si units for details However, SI units in Japanese today are almost exclusively written using romaji or katakana such as kirom toru or kirom toru for km, kirorotoru for kl, and kirogaramu or kirogaramu for kilogram. In Japan the koji category is strictly defined as characters whose earliest appearance is in Japan. If a character appears earlier in the Chinese literature, it is not considered a kouji even if the character was independently coined in Japan and unrelated to the Chinese character meaning, not borrowed from Chinese. In other words, kouji are not simply characters that were made in Japan, but characters that were first made in Japan. An illustrative example is Anko, and Kong Monkfish. This spelling was created in Edo period Japan from the Ateji phonetic kanji spelling and kong for the existing word anko by adding the u radical to each character. The characters were made in Japan. 
However, an is not considered kou ji, as it is found in ancient Chinese texts as a corruption of yan. Yu ya kong is considered kou ji, as it has not been found in any earlier Chinese text. Casual listings may be more inclusive, including characters such as an. Another example is za, which is sometimes not considered kou ji due to its earlier presence as a corruption of Chinese za. Kaken In addition to kouji, there are kanji that have been given meanings in Japanese different from their original Chinese meanings. These are not considered kouji but are instead called kokkun and include characters such as the following. Topic. Types of kanji by category Han Dynasty scholar Xu Shen in his 2nd century dictionary Xuaoan Jiezi classified Chinese characters into six categories Chinese, Lu Xu Lu Xu, Japanese, Lu Xu Riku Shou. The traditional classification is still taught but is problematic and no longer the focus of modern lexicographic practice, as some categories are not clearly defined, nor are they mutually exclusive. The first four refer to structural composition, while the last two refer to usage. Topic: Shokei Moji, Shangxing Wen. Shokei Mandarin, Shangxing characters are pictographic sketches of the object they represent. For example, Mu is an eye, while Mu is a tree. The current forms of the characters are very different from the originals, though their representations are more clear in oracle bone script and seal script. These pictographic characters make up only a small fraction of modern characters. Topic. Shi Ji Moji, Ji Shi Wen. Shi Ji Mandarin, Ji Shi characters are ideographs, often called simple ideographs or simple indicatives, to distinguish them and tell the difference from compound ideographs below. They are usually simple graphically and represent an abstract concept such as Shang, up, or above, and Sha, down or below. These make up a tiny fraction of modern characters. Topic. Ka emoji, wei yi wen. Ka yi Mandarin, wei yi characters are compound ideographs, often called compound indicatives. Associative compounds are just ideographs. These are usually a combination of pictographs that combine semantically to present an overall meaning. An example of this type is shu rest from ren person radical and mu tree. Another is the kouji chia mountain pass made from shan mountain, shang up and sha down. These make up a tiny fraction of modern characters. Topic: Kaisei moji, xing sheng wen. Kaisei Mandarin, Xingsheng characters are phono-semantic or radical phonetic compounds, sometimes called semantic phonetic, semasio-phonetic, or phonetic ideographic. Characters, are by far the largest category, making up about 90% of the characters in the standard lists. However, some of the most frequently used kanji belong to one of the three groups mentioned above, so kaisei moji will usually make up less than 90% of the characters in a text. Typically they are made up of two components, one of which most commonly, but by no means always, the left or top element suggests the general category of the meaning or semantic context, and the other most commonly the right or bottom element approximates the pronunciation. The pronunciation relates to the original Chinese, and may now only be distantly detectable in the modern Japanese aniomi of the kanji, it generally has no relation at all to kuniomi. The same is true of the semantic context, which may have changed over the centuries or in the transition from Chinese to Japanese. 
As a result, it is a common error in folk etymology to fail to recognize a phono-semantic compound, typically instead inventing a compound indicative explanation. Topic: Tenchu Moji, Zhuanzu Wen. Tenchu Mandarin Genju characters have variously been called derivative characters derivative cognates or translated as mutually explanatory or mutually synonymous characters this is the most problematic of the six categories as it is vaguely defined it may refer to kanji where the meaning or application has become extended for example, la is used for music and comfort, ease, with different pronunciations in Chinese reflected in the two different aniomi, gaku music and raku pleasure. Topic: <laughs> Kasha moji, fanjia wen. Kasha, Mandarin, jaja, are rebuses, sometimes called phonetic loans. The etymology of the characters follows one of the patterns above, but the present-day meaning is completely unrelated to this. A character was appropriated to represent a similar-sounding word. For example, lie in ancient Chinese was originally a pictograph for wheat. Its syllable was homophonous with the verb meaning to come, and the character is used for that verb as a result, without any embellishing meaning element attached. The character for wheat mai, originally meant to come, being a kaisei moji having foot at the bottom for its meaning part and wheat at the top for sound. The two characters swapped meaning, so today the more common word has the simpler character. This borrowing of sounds has a very long history. <laughs> <laughs> Related symbols The iteration mark is used to indicate that the preceding kanji is to be repeated, functioning similarly to a ditto mark in English. It is pronounced as though the kanji were written twice in a row, for example iro iro various, and tokidoki sometimes. This mark also appears in personal and place names, as in the surname Sasaki. Zuomi. This symbol is a simplified version of the kanji tong, a variant of do same. Another abbreviated symbol is K, in appearance a small katakana, K, but actually a simplified version of the kanji gi, a general counter. It is pronounced ka when used to indicate quantity such as lu keyu, rakagetsu, six months, or ga, in place names like kasumagaseki, The way how these symbols may be produced on a computer depends on the operating system. In OSX, typing geokori will reveal the symbol as well as and. To produce, type under Windows, typing kurakaishi will reveal some of these symbols, while in Google Ime, odoriji may be used. Topic. Collation Kanji, whose thousands of symbols defy ordering by conventions such as those used for the Latin script, are often collated using the traditional Chinese radical and stroke sorting method. In this system, common components of characters are identified, these are called radicals. Characters are grouped by their primary radical, then ordered by number of pen strokes within radicals. For example, the kanji character ying, meaning cherry is sorted as a ten-stroke character under the four-stroke primary radical mu meaning tree. When there is no obvious radical or more than one radical, convention governs which is used for collation. Other kanji sorting methods, such as the skip system, have been devised by various authors. Modern general purpose Japanese dictionaries as opposed to specifically character dictionaries generally collate all entries including words written using kanji according to their kana representations reflecting the way they are pronounced The gojuan ordering of kana is normally used for this purpose Topic <laughs> Kanji education 
Japanese school children are expected to learn 1,006 basic kanji characters, the kyoiku kanji, before finishing the sixth grade. The order in which these characters are learned is fixed. The Kyoiku Kanji list is a subset of a larger list, originally of 1,945 kanji characters and extended to 2,136 in 2010, are known as the Joyo Kanji characters required for the level of fluency necessary to read newspapers and literature in Japanese. This larger list of characters is to be mastered by the end of the ninth grade. Schoolchildren learn the characters by repetition and radical. Students studying Japanese as a foreign language are often required by a curriculum to acquire kanji without having first learned the vocabulary associated with them. Strategies for these learners vary from copying based methods to mnemonic based methods such as those used in James Heisig's series Remembering the Kanji. Other textbooks use methods based on the etymology of the characters, such as Matthias and Habine's The Complete Guide to Everyday Kanji and Henshaw's A Guide to Remembering Japanese Characters. Pictorial mnemonics, as in the text Kanji Picto Graphics, are also seen. The Japanese government provides the Kanji Kente Ri Ben Han Zinen Li Jian Ding Shi Yan Nihon Kanji Noryoku Kente Shiken Test of Japanese Kanji Aptitude which tests the ability to read and write kanji. The highest level of the kanji kente tests about 6,000 kanji. Topic. See also Braille kanji Chinese influence on Japanese culture Han unification Han nam Vietnamese equivalent Hanja Korean equivalent Chinese family of scripts Japanese script reform Japanese typefaces Shotai Japanese writing system Kanji of the year List of kanji by concept List of kanji by stroke count Pop point of purchase typeface Radical Chinese character Stroke order Table of kanji radicals equals equals notes. <laughs>